sit down on the bed and then you can come out, Matthew. Just sit down for five minutes and cool down. About four or five times a day, I have to put Matthew into timeout, and it tires me out big time because I'm constantly having to stop what we do. So this is how you disappear in the bed. Yeah. Matthew got really angry and he started to trash his bedroom in protest. And then he turned on his mum. And out of the blue, Matthew just punched mum in the lip. She was completely shocked. Uh, yeah. Just punch me in the face. Yeah, just again. Oh, my word. I mean, all of this situation has become completely unnecessary. Now Matthew's got to go and tidy up his bedroom, and Mum has been punched in the lip. This is just ridiculous. Matthew's aggression has got to stop. Has got to stop. When I look at Matthew, all I can see, all I can see is this beautiful boy that's very smart, and yet there's no room for him to breathe. He didn't listen, he didn't do as he was told, and he was placed up into his room, and you held the door, Laura. Tick tock, tick tock, boom. He lost it. Trashed his room, kicking the door, he ends up calling you a bitch, which is just absolutely disgusting. And if actually he can behave that way to his parents and nothing be done about that, then that's what he'll take outside. I mean, to draw blood on your own parent because you've lost control is sad. If you feel that when mummy and daddy tell you to do something, you start to get angry, I want you to blow it out. Can you do this? Breathe through your nose. Soon after I showed Mum and Dad the discipline techniques, Matthew kicked off with a huge tantrum. Oh. Is that OK? Right, Matthew, oh. deal with this. You're going to have to deal with it straight away. Matthew. Don't say nothing to him. Just grab him by his hands. Remember, he's not stronger than you. Just put him on the chair and say nothing. Right, move away. Away. Mum was really struggling to control Matthew, so I had to step in. You do not, you do not punch and kick your mummy. Get off me! Look, oh. remember the chart, Matthew. Matthew didn't want to chill out, and his temper had spiralled completely out of control. It was new territory for him. He hasn't been disciplined in that way before and it was strange and he wanted to go back to what felt comfortable for him. Oh, do not down. kick me, otherwise you, do not you will anybody. be in trouble with me, Matthew. Yes, 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 oh, shut up! <laughs> Finally, Matthew calmed down and Mum got him to finish the technique. OK, now tell him to look at you. OK, it's time to breathe through his nose. Breathe through your nose, Do you like Mummy? Do you like Mummy? And out. Like, blow out the candles. This is the behaviour we want to see. A calm Matthew, OK? Not one that gets angry. I want to give up within about five, ten minutes. I just thought, this isn't working. But it was worth the sort of hour and a half tantrum beforehand to get the end result. He threw the book in today yeah. because you remained calm and so you had to elevate his temper. Yeah. It may take you a couple of more times yeah. to go through this, but it will get better. I don't think he actually realises how angry he gets. It does upset me because I do feel that there is no need for him to be that way and I just need to learn how to prevent him getting to that stage.